Hey guys, Matt Donald here. I can't find the microphone. It's behind the couch somewhere, and I need to get this episode out. So I'm recording it from this distant place. Where could it be? It's 20,000 leagues under the couch at this point. I have no idea, but the show must go on! If you want more professional content like this, then you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash matthewdonald. This month we're talking about the Speculative Evolutionary Dinosaur Project, or something like that. It's called SPEC for short. It's a website that details a speculative evolution of dinosaurs, about what would happen if they didn't go extinct, what would they evolve, what would they turn into, all the crazy designs. It's great! We talk about it. Links in the description before you can sign up to the Patreon. Thank you for your support. Have a good day. Now I'm off to find my mic! I'm so professional! Roar! Growl, snarl, bellow. Roar. Welcome to Paleo Bites, the podcast bereft of hardcore paleontological science and full of comedic cringe. My name is Matthew Dahl, and each week I the rotate a series of guest co-hosts talk about and rate a genus of prehistoric animal, be it dinosaur, mammal, arthropod, and so on. This week I'm joined with someone who is full of comedic fringe. But actually not quite as bereft of paleontological knowledge as you might think. You actually studied paleontology once. I did. Yeah. I haven't done that. <laughs> Other than this show. What, I, haven't, what? I haven't done it formally like you have. Eh, it's like a minute. Oh, okay. Well, well <laughs> it's Lawrence Mack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how are you, buddy? Uh, I'm doing good. good. Ready to, to let the fringe loose. <laughs> yeah. I apologize if it gets hot. And also, you're on a weather couch. I'm sure you're sweating up a storm on there. That's okay. Don't Meh, worry. You know, that's my secret cap. I'm always sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is nice. <laughs> you, ever, you ever sweat sometimes when you're in pain? Like when you get in pain, you oh, sweat. Yeah. It's like your body is like, maybe if I'm wet, right? the pain will go exactly. away. Exactly. Make me wet just so I can get rid of the pain. That sounded really bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> God, man. I'm going to move on from that uh, one. Speaking of getting wet, my girlfriend. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I'm just, oh, God. <laughs> what, you were such a so, bad influence. This show is normally so clean, and then you come on, and then I just suddenly make all these jokes. It's your fault that make me do them. Hey. Uh, too sexy for this show. <laughs> too sexy for this show. <laughs> God. Oh, uh, no, no. Me and my girlfriend, no, we're, we're pretty great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a wonderful relationship in many ways. Yep. You're very emotional, intellectual, grammatical. Did you say grammatical? Grammatical, yep. Grammatical? Ph- yeah. Philosophical. Philosophical, okay. A- yeah. And physical, yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> but by the way, this, you know, listeners, uh, <laughs> so here's, here's a little bit of a tip. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think this will make it on the explicit tab because I'm not going to say anything here, but here's a tip, listeners. Is that what your girlfriend got? The tip? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Here's another Sorry. tip, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> you know the stereotype that it's impossible to get a woman to, you know, man always does, the woman is always unsatisfied? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's actually very easy. It's very easy. The secret, do what they want you to do. <laughs> do they have wants? Hey, uh-huh. It's not about you, listeners. I mean, it is a little about you. Make sure you're happy. Make sure she's happy, and you will both have a wonderful time. It's exactly. really that easy. <laughs> exactly. As long as everybody's happy. Yeah. You know the, the term, you can't make everybody happy? That's a lie. Uh, I just really want to brag about this. As someone uh-huh. who did not have much, if any, sex before my current girlfriend, mm-hmm. And she is, she's had a bit of sex. And I am the best she's ever had, according to her. So, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's great. Doesn't that feel like a god? <laughs> nice. <laughs> god in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mediocre <laughs> at so many things, but I'm great at some things. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> One of those things great is definitely not podcasts. but. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> hey, you, you never know. You know, when this blows up eventually, and I mean, not in the bad way, in the good way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, you know, you know this will be looked at as uh, just the wonderful growing pains to the Growing to the pains. I'm, I'm about to turn 32 listeners, yeah. <laughs> and I'm still going through growing pains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want something else to be good, that'd be good in the bedroom, get yourself a bit of jaw biters. And speaking of which... <laughs> 
<laughs> We're talking about Genio Dicti. <laughs> I think it's how you pronounce it. The Gen Y of dinosaurs. Yeah, the Gen Y. The Millennials. O- the OG Millennial Dinosaur. <laughs> what up, yo, Dicties? Gen- yo, gen- what up, yo, Gen Yo Dicties? Gen Yo Dicties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a basal ceratosaurid. Even though, or basil. Right. You know, now the way you say, I think it could be basil. I, I, I know someone pointed it out to me, and I'm just, it, it has not felt the same to say it. Since. It's one yeah. of those words that, it's sort of like niche or niche or whatever. Yeah. No matter how I say it, I'm sure it's wrong, and it sounds wrong in my head. Yeah, that, or no matter how you say it, it's right. <laughs> I dictate it. Yep. Like the dicties of yep. Gen Y. Exactly. <laughs> it's like uh, Mugato from Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I get that Gumato, reference. It's a Mugutu. It's a Gumoto. I, I understand that reference. Potato, yes. potato. <laughs> so, okay. All right. It's 22 feet, so 6.2 meters long, 1,700 pounds or 800 kilograms. Uh, it's a carnivore. It lived in the early Cretaceous. Oh. Uh, 113 to 111 million years ago. So even though it was a basal ceratosaur, it lived later than its family namesake, Ceratosaurus. Evolution is weird sometimes. Yeah, that is interesting. Oh. Huh. Location, by far the most popular location of this entire show. Good old Argentina. <laughs> ah, yep. Argentina, the home to dinosaurs yep. and Nazis. <laughs> 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 yep, that's, uh, they're proud. <laughs> great dancing, great beef, great Great dinosaurs. Great dinosaurs. People terrible f- politics. Terrible people fled yep. from other places. <laughs> Is that America? <laughs> yeah, also there, too. Okay. Oops. Uh, subscribe to 1901. Pop culture appearances. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, millennials are everywhere nowadays. That's true. So, you know. I, I did see an article that was like, should millennials get more into politics? And it's like, I don't know if you're aware how linear time works. <laughs> but <laughs> like, eventually, yes. <laughs> so, yep. Yep. Eventually, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe. If we don't kill ourselves out first. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, for the first time ever, I'm actually, as you know, time has gone on and I'm seeing the progress we made, I'm not too concerned about the environment anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think it's, I mean, not to say that I'm not like, I, I think, oh, I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm no, not going to ignore it. everywhere. Yeah, plastic everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> pee in the forest. Actually, pee in the forest is fine. That's how everyone does it. <laughs> pee oil in the forest. Like, throw oil in the, no, I'm just saying, I think we're on the right track. Now, we could still wipe ourselves up by nuking each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, uh, and we, we could just just easily revert back to some bad things, but... Yeah, yeah, but I think not. the environment's going to be okay. I mean, yeah. it's going to be bad, but it's. We're, I think we've avoided the worst of it, so... Yeah. But maybe. keep fighting. Keep exactly. fighting, governments. Don't, Instead not, of wiping out the entire planet, we'll only have to wear gas masks for the rest of eternity. I mean, and, except for the people that'll be like, this hinges on our freedom. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, exactly, but... By then, they'll all be wiped out because they won't be able to breathe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but so they they, they died them. on their feet rather than lived on their knees. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some people like to live on their knees, you know? Uh, yeah. Speak it. Like me and my girlfriend, right? We live. No. <laughs> 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 okay, here's the thing. There were a ton of dinosaurs. Uh-huh. So far, we have over a thousand confirmed species documented, over nine hundred genera, and this is even kind of the ones we don't know. We'll never know because they were never fossilized. Yeah. Do you think that uh, some of those were like the mozzarella and the oh the, the basal vinaigrette. ones, the mozzarella, the oregano? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you know, you get uh, if you get uh, the basil dinosaurs with the mozzarella dinosaurs, basil and tomato Baker dinosaurs, Street, yes, you have a nice caprese salad. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, uh, so much of what was once part of this prehistoric planet of old was lost to the sands of time. No. Uh, but there's a lot of dinosaurs. Most of them are obscure to the public consciousness. Uh, take this one, Geniodictes. Geniodictes. It sounds kind of neat, a good rolling of consonants and cool phonic vowels, but it has the pretty generic meaning of jawbiter. As if no one else bites with their jaws. Or maybe yes. they bite other dinosaurs' jaws. Oh. It's like a kink thing. I was gonna say well, I was gonna say I, I bite with my butt cheeks. <laughs> so 
<gasps> Maybe they bite jaws with their butt cheeks. Oh, okay. I was like, I can crush walnuts with my butt cheeks. Oh, yeah. yeah Do your squats, just... kids. <laughs> <laughs> Do your squats. <laughs> Do your... This will work it out, get you. <laughs> uh, I found out about this dinosaur when deciding I need to broaden the horizon of uh, ah. paleobites and cover creatures that would never come in otherwise. So I went to a random dinosaur generator online that gives you a list of however many dinosaur generators you choose. You can refresh as often as you want. And then this is one of the ones that popped up. That's so interesting. Is when you told me about it and I looked it up to like, try and look at the pronunciation because that is one heck of a dinosaur. Geniodictes. It looks familiar in some way. It's basically Ceratosaurus. Uh, that's probably it. Uh, it's basically that, except Cretaceous and Argentinian. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so, just like a not-so-distant cousin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Basically. All right. So yeah, good. basically that. Nice. Uh, here's, there's a bunch of interesting things about it, though. Um, so that's why we're talking about Jim Wyodictes. I'm just called Jim Wyodictes because I think it's funny. Yeah. And also yeah. it's actually easier to say than whenever I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, there's, so let's talk about this Gen Y millennial dinosaur now, shall we? Yeah. This is actually the second described species ever found in South America. The first, a little guy called Lonchosaurus, have been considered dubious for a while. So in some ways it's the first. Uh, yeah. But due to Gen Wyodictes fragmentary <laughs> remains. I'm going to piss off so many people. <laughs> fragmentary <laughs> remains. It was also considered dubious for many years, but a redescription of the material in 2004 established its taxonomic validity, so it's considered valid once again. Yay, what well, great news, right? <laughs> no, literally no one cares. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, how many listeners you say you had? Some of them might care. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Someone's like, I am literally staking my entire existence on the validity of Gen Y Odictes. Gen Y Odictes. As a classic Gen Y, yep. I squander all my money on the avocado toast in Starbucks. Yep, exactly. And the rest of it, I'm putting on Gen Y Odictes. It's validity. Wait, you have leftover? Oh, this is a trust fund Gen Y. Oh, person. trust fund Gen Y. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. I was going to say, after my Starbucks and uh, an avocado toast, I usually have a solid negative $500. Yeah, yeah. Time. I think I'm in debt. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Me too. But, wow. <laughs> damn, I got to stop eating all that avocado toast. Exactly. Us millennials. I know. Freaking Gen Y Odictes set us up with that. Gen She's like, Y you know what? Yo dicks. I'm avocado toast. <laughs> you Gen Y are dicks. Gen Tease. Y dicks. Tease. Me and my girlfriend. No. <laughs> 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 okay, so Gen Y Odictes got its name that I'm mispronouncing on purpose because I can't know how to pronounce the real one. Because its hall type fossil consists of an incomplete snout, specifically the lower front one, with quite a few of its teeth. The teeth being relatively large with the size of the skull, and in fact tied with Ceratosaurus for having the biggest teeth of any theropod dinosaur relative to its head. Really? So yeah. Tied it, with Yeah. Wow. It's tied for number one. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Imagine with saber teeth. <laughs> Right? Yeah. yeah. That's more of a mammal thing because the way the canines work, most right. most dinosaur teeth are pretty uniform and like they they all look the same as you. Yeah, yeah. Like in sure. the mouth, you, sir, of course, different dinosaurs have different types of teeth, but in yeah. the the teeth of one specific dinosaur, all the teeth yeah. look the same. They're those, yeah, they're the same. So, yeah. but mammals have very varied teeth. So. Yeah. Well, I want to have those differentiations. Yeah. Although there was a uh, I, I, uh, speculative evolution website called S the Speculative Dinosaur Project mm -hmm. about what if dinosaurs lived on and whatever one of the creatures had versus saber tyrants. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> cool. How to make T Rex more badass, give it saber teeth. <laughs> like, that would be pretty badass. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I yeah. mean, I'm all right. I already right bought myself if I saw a T Rex coming at me, but a saber tooth T Rex? I feel like that's overkill. Like, it can already crunch so much. Right? I'm surprised they didn't uh, add that into the Indominus. Um, uh... Yeah, give it saber teeth. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been dope. Give it woolly mammoth tusks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> have them just come up and... <laughs> <laughs> give it a trunk. <laughs> <laughs> just put all these different parts together and you just look like you're playing on, uh, you know, what animal were you even talking about? Genuine Odictes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the biggest teeth of the to its head. But basically what differs uh, Gen, Gen Y Odictes from Ceratosaurus, we don't really know because it only has that part of the skull, oh, skull yeah. the lower part of the jaw has been uh -huh. found. Oh, I mean, a little bit of the front too, but like not the front with the nose. So we didn't even know if it had the nose horn like Ceratosaurus. Let's uh -huh. say it did. 
just for cool points. <laughs> so, cool points, yeah. Because evolution's cool. Exactly. When things evolve, it's specifically how do I get as cool as possible. Absolutely. That's why skateboarding has been evolved five separate times yeah. throughout history. Yeah, exactly. It was first started by Legolas at the Battle of Helm's Deep. Yep. And now, look, we got Tony Hawk. <gasps> yep, yep. Boom. And then and then after a bunch of that and then a bunch of tell a mom to shove it. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, okay, so what's different from Ceratosaurus? Well, a little bit, its environment's a little bit different. So, like, it lived in the Sierra Barcino Formation, or the Sierra Barcino Formation in Patagonia, Argentina. And the other animals we know from there include some turtles, like Chubutimis and Porcelladilla, the medium sized sauropod Chubutisaurus. <laughs> Chibuti Saurus. Chibuti Saurus. <laughs> well, Gen- Goes right along with the dick tease. Yeah, Chibuti. yeah. <laughs> Gen Y, stop teasing your dicks. <laughs> Get some booty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. As well as the freaking enormous sauropod Patago Titan lived here. Oh, and the yeah. giant super predator, and speaking of edgelord, uh, Tyranno Titan. <laughs> oh, yeah. The edgiest lord. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty intense. Uh, totally different biodiversity in Ceratosaurus, right? Uh, wait. Ceratosaurus lived with some turtles like Gliptops and Dinochellis, the medium-sized sauropod Camarasaurus, the freaking enormous sauropod Brachiosaurus, the giant super predator Allosaurus, and Saurophaganex. Damn it, what have you got for us, Gen <laughs> Y? You're such a dick tease. Exactly. Freaking tease. It's like a <laughs> cock blocker of a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so rude. Inconsiderate. This is the last time I'm using a random dinosaur generator for the Pale Bite episodes for sure. Exactly. Ah, damn Darn you. millennials ruined da- everything. Ah, Not buying gen- cable anymore. Damn you, Jim Y. You dick tease. Jim Y, yo, dick teaser. Yeah. <laughs> Let's rate the dick teasing Jim Y dinosaur. One of 65 million, shall we? All right. Yeah. Where, where would that fit in? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I can't even think of a joke rating, so I'm just going to be up. That's like 15 million. I, I mean, it's based. I mean, look, the fact that it has big teeth is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. You know, I I was thinking like, I go 56 million. 56 million. 56, it's such a fun, it, it's fun to say. It, it, it's a fun you dinosaur know? name to riff off of, I've realized. Yeah, exactly. I didn't realize how many jokes I could put in with yeah, this. Yeah, you know, Dick. exactly. Watch this, uh, some like upper class like super like professional paleontologist just says it just it like comes out of his mouth like sweet silk just like, oh absolutely just, like, I so, just want to listen to those paleontologists it's just like Gen Y Gen Yo it's just like and here we, and here Gen we have, <laughs> it's just, it just says it so professionally and fluently you take it so seriously yeah exactly like, just like when you hear the astronauts to astronauts <laughs> Um, astronomers talking. <laughs> the astronauts. <laughs> astronauts talking about, you know, Uranus. Right? Yeah. It'd be like, yeah. you know, that guy's butt is really. I mean, <clears throat> that planet. Um... <laughs> God, poor Uranus. <laughs> it's all just to be like, mm, so the whole type fossil of this creature, you know, this a genio addictus, is an uh, incomplete fossil. I'm like, wow, it just smooth. Yeah, flip. it's so smooth. It's, it's like you didn't even. It's like you didn't even notice. It's just. Just like the like, incomplete he, smout of Genio Dictees. Did he say something about a Dictees? What? <laughs> I heard you say Dictees. Right. Does this mean you're going to talk about Homo erectus soon? <laughs> like, yeah, or somebody accidentally has their Siri activated, and it's like, top ten searches for Dictees. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this week. Uh, if you want to get hold of the show, and contact me at Matt D at MatthewDonCreator.com for your questions to any of the co-hosts for some reason. <laughs> uh, you can find me on social media at MatthewDonCreator on Facebook, MatthewDon64, everywhere else, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, what have you. Uh, I have a book series on Amazon, Megazog, people for print and Kindle. No Genio Dictees in there because it's a family-friendly book. Ah, <laughs> so but there's a... Uh, X-rated parody out there. It's called Mega Mega Hoic. <laughs> Mega Hoic. <laughs> Mega Ho Dick. <laughs> Mega Ho Dick. <laughs> <laughs> In which the Genio Dictees is one of the main supporting fluff uh, ca- uh, casters. <laughs> ah, we don't need fluffers. Yeah, uh, that's w- when you have a Genio Dictees, you don't need a fluffer. Mega Ho Dick. <laughs> yeah, Mega Dictees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really into edge play because it's a tease, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The whole time it just teases you along up until in that a final climax. I mean, um, plot point. That's it for this week. <laughs> if you say to get all, <laughs> say at the end of every episode of Paleo Bites, 
Daniel Dick Tease. Daniel Dick Tease. Dick Tease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my, my goodness.